Beloved, do you know how much God loves us all? We commit sin, iniquities and we even grieve His heart at times. Even knowing all this, He loves us and do you know what He does because of this love? We can know it through a verse. Look in Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 34. For I will forgive their iniquity and their sin I will remember no more. Just think about our family. How many sins, isn't it? How many sins we commit in our lives? How many sinful things happen around us? If God punishes us for each and every sin, none of us could stand. But He, He has a forgiving heart. That's why we are alive and our families didn't perish. That's why our nation is not destroyed because He has a forgiving heart and we are being guarded through His forgiving heart. God says, I will forgive and their sin I will remember no more. He will not only forgive us but He will never remember our sin. What a wonderful love, isn't it? And what should you do for him to remember your sin no more? Whoever conceals their sin does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. So what should we do? We must confess our sins to God. I want to ask you, have you ever accepted your sin? God, I committed this sin. Please forgive me. Please guard me always from this sin. Have you ever said so? If you would say, he will immediately be compassionate and will never remember that. Men forgive but still keep thinking of it. Even though they say that they forgive, they would say whatever be it you said so or you did so. But God will forgive and will no more remember it. That's the love of God. So, if you go to His presence as a sinner and being forgiven by Him, how does He see you? He looks at us as a holy man. If you tell God, God, I committed such and such sin, he would ask, when did you sin? I don't remember my boy. I don't remember it, my daughter. I've forgotten it long back. Did you commit that sin? And he'd say, no, I washed it with my blood. I don't remember those sin anymore. What a wonderful God. Why are you harboring the sin, being tormented by the conscience and why are you not in peace? There's a God who forgives you to forget that sin and to hold you close as his son, his daughter. Come to him. Look at Jesus and tell God, Father, I come to you. I accept all my sin. Please forgive me. Please deliver me from this sin so that I should never get a thought of it. Will you say so? God will help you. That's why He shed His blood on the cross. The blood of Jesus purifies us from all sin. Will you place your hand on your heart and pray today? Jesus, I need a pure and holy heart. My conscience is tormenting me because of my sin. There's no tranquility nor peace because of this sin. I'm dismayed due to this. Please forgive my sin. Please wash it away with your blood and you should never remember my sin. Father, here your daughter is praying like that. Father, here your son is praying. Please wash anyone who are praying to wash their hearts with your blood. Remove all their sins and give them a new heart from this day. From today, let there be peace and joy in their hearts. We pray in the name of Jesus, Father. Amen. Amen.